just wanted to make a horror film, right? I mean, you just literally just wanted, to, or you've always wanted to make one. So you just went out and did it. Is it as simple as that? Yes, in fact, I, I'm, um, I'm a fan of the horror movies. And three years ago, I, I'm a lawyer and I have a restaurant. And my life was a little boring at the time. And man, I want to do something new. And I went to the United States to study cinema. I come back and I buy equipment. And everybody, man, you are crazy. Why are you buying camera? Why are you buying lenses? Why are you buying... So one day, I'll go, one day I will do something. And I love horror movies. And I think horror movies give you space for creativity. I love the visuals. I love everything. And I meet two guys, my partners, uh, Vitor uh, Molini and Tato Cianci, and I, I, tell, I told them, let's make a movie, our movie, so let's go. I wrote a script, in the script there's no, I didn't know at the time, nobody that made makeups, anything. And I wrote the script without any scene, explicit scene, uh, all her movie, but with a lot of uh, touch of drama. Then I meet a guy, uh, Rodrigo Aragão, he's, he made a low budget movies, but he's a master of makeups, and I joined him, and we made this movie. <laughs> what sort of what sort of horror movies do you like? I mean, because you know you're Brazilian. Yes. I mean, you know, it's not just the Coffin Joe movies. You see everything. Yes. Do you have a particular love of any particular? Yes, I, I grew up in the eighties. My first idol was Freddy Krueger. <laughs> then I start become a Dario Argento fan, and I love the French horror of the guys come are here for Leatherface, uh, Switchblade Romance, Marchers, I love this period. And this is my influences. Yeah, because actually that's interesting to say that, because there are some very hard, extreme scenes in our evil, aren't yes. they? And that's what you, you, that's what it was for. Yes. The, the beginning scene is very, I, the, the influences was these guys from the French horror, and I tried to make a movie that the first half of the movie, the real evil in the movie, the real, not the supernatural, very, very heavy, very, a lot of impact. And the, and the second half of the supernatural evil, something more, uh, that evil that we like in the movies, even the demon in the movie has that image. Uh, they, uh, that a little that image that we have that we have in our minds when you are a child that image of the demon uh, red with the horns uh, scalping this is the hmm. why this story though I mean so where where did you come up with the basic concept which is a, a hitman hires an ex you know a, an exorcist hires a hitman to kill his daughter yes, who's possessed I, I think uh, when you uh, I'm writing a, my second script now. I think a script is like a, a river of ideas. And this river try to find a way through the stones, then you see these ideas through a distant perspective and you start to redef uh, redefine the structure. I wrote a scene, it's the, the bar scene, the first scene that wow. I... And I go... Um, and I go to the past and the future in that scene and try to make some adjustments. And I, I try to make something different, Alan, because when I was in my city called Black River, Ribeirão Preto, oh, my, um, my dreams one day to be at the Fry Fest. How will you be there, compete with Letterface, Cut of Chuck in the same festival if I did a cheap copycat? I have to make something different. I don't have the muscles of these movies have, the budget, but I will put a little more brain, a little more mood, try to make something different. And I think the, the, the audience here in the discovery screen, the main screen, needs, the, the, we need more freshness. We, we, we can do new things with the elements of horror that we love so much. And I, is that what I try to do? I hope I... I 
I choose. I mean, was it what you want? I mean, was it as, I don't want to say easy, because filmmaking isn't easy, but was it what you expected it to be when you were directing the film? You thought, yeah, this is right, this is good. Or was it harder work than you were ever, ever expecting? The, I think the, I was the producer, the writer, director, and editor. I think the, the hardest part of the, this process was the post-production because it takes a long time and, but I, directing I think is the, when you're at the set is the easiest part. I arrived in the set, I didn't, uh, I, we, we, I didn't have, I don't, I didn't have uh, storyboards, nothing. I planted the shots there, a minimal coverage, the essential coverage, and let's go. And it was, it was easy in the set. I trained the, the actors. Is every, every actor in that movie, the first movie of them, they are from theater, underground theater. I trained them because actors in the theater, they they custom to put the voice a lot and I come down, come down, come down, come down. I trained them three months and we, in the set, was very easy. How have you shown the film to people in Brazil? I mean, I mean, Brazil isn't well known for this sort of film. I mean, what do they think about it and you coming along? Yes, uh, in fact, uh, we don't have uh, traditional independent movies in Brazil. In Brazil, people just like um, foreigner or her movies, but popcorn or her movies for complex. We don't have middle cinema in Brazil. We just have art movies or comedy. In Brazil, just five movies get returned in the movie theater, and the, four, the five is comedies. We don't have um, traditional horror movies in Brazil. So, uh, my plan was go internationally with the movie, and then come back. Give, uh, give the movie a little uh, heavy weight, and come back to Brazil. Of course, it was easy for me to shoot in English, but I shoot in my city with Portuguese. It's the first movie it was impossible to shoot in English. I mean, the reaction here from the first screening we've had has been amazing. I mean, yes. people absolutely loved it. I mean, obviously, you're really pleased, but did that sort of take you aback a bit? You thought, oh, you know, wow, I'm actually finally, it's worked, I've done it. Yes, it's a sense of uh, relief. It's a, because it's a movie, Alan, that I wanted to, I made for an audience that has brain. It's, a, it's an intelligent movie. It's not a movie that somebody kills somebody and then another girl away. Why, why she was there? I, 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 the, the audience needs to have brain. And I pick up the cards and I hide the cards and so that the audience needs to have a little patience in the movie to finally, in the final act, everything explodes. And I think the problem with the, the horror movies, the majority of the, mo the movies, horror movies, is the end. I was in the end, oh, the end. Mm. So I tried to make a different end, like a video clip mixing the evil and uh, I can say a lot because, but I tried to make the end of the movie, a, a movie, a sound, boom, 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 with a synthesizers and to be a little, a combo vent, I think the word is this. I know, don't know, is this. So has the legal profession lost a lawyer then? You're going to now be a director? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a lawyer, I have a restaurant in Brazil, but I want to continue to make movies. When you go to a set, when you came to a festival like this, it's impossible you come back to another thing. It's, my, it's what I want, it's, it's magical. Cinema is, is everything in my life now. Mm -hmm.